The Sphere at the Venetian in Las Vegas is an iconic venue noted for its luxurious setting and acoustics. With seating for almost 7,000, the Sphere caters to large-scale events. Although there are no bad seats, some patrons may find certain seats more favorable. Seats close to the stage offer the best view of the action, though some may prefer the elevated view from the back of the venue. Depending on the performance, certain seats may be uncomfortable due to sound or crowding. Seats on the left and right sides of the venue may be small and cramped due to its stadium-style setup. Patrons can look up seat availability and pricing online before purchasing tickets. This also allows for selecting the best seat in the house without purchasing the most expensive option. The aesthetic of the venue is sleek and modern. Its curved walls make for a comfortable viewing experience and its two domed ceilings add a unique touch. Once inside, the generous legroom offered by the reclining seats adds to the luxury experience. The theatre also boasts over 20 bars for patrons to enjoy. Before the event, the lobby area can be overwhelming with its grandiose scale. Groups have the opportunity to explore the area before the event or make a stop at one of the many shops around the venue. The sound quality during a performance is one of the most important elements of a good viewing experience. The sound system in the sphere is well calibrated and provides crisp and clear audio. Accessibility options are provided throughout the venue, including listening technology and accessibility seating for those with special needs. Seats also tend to be wide to accommodate plus-sized patrons, however, aisles are very narrow and can be an obstacle. For events on peak nights like New Year's, seating can be challenging to find and guests may struggle to find a good seat. Seat dimensions can vary between levels, so attendees should check the seat map and venue information before purchasing tickets to find the best match. At the balconies, views of the stage may be obstructed due to speakers and other equipment placed in front of them. Although some would assume that the front row is always the best spot for any event, this may not be the case for the sphere. The front and center seats may actually be the most uncomfortable because they will be closest to the speakers and other sound equipment. Partial view seats also exist, which block part of the vision of the stage. Restricted view tickets should always be noted when selecting tickets and even considered for an optimal viewing experience. There are some seating sections in the upper balconies that may block the view of the stage from certain angles. The rear of the theater also may not be the best view as the visuals may be too far away for patrons to see clearly. When purchasing tickets, patrons should always consider too whether or not they are purchasing tickets for a seated or general admission performance. Seats will depend on the setup of each performance. Seats may be numbered or may be free-flowing depending on the event. The Sphere also offers TID seating for select events allowing audiences to move up and down the tiers of seating for a different view of the performance. Although there is no such thing as a bad seat in the sphere, some seats may be more comfortable or less desirable than others. 
be sure to check the seating chart carefully when selecting tickets to get the best view of the performance. Some seats will have obstructions such as poles, equipment, or other large objects in front, so be aware of these before purchasing tickets. Seats at the back of the venue may have a better view typically, although the sound quality may not be as good as in the front, 